Today's video will be a very sad one because it will cover everything you need to know about the emo trade. You might not know this, but this trade initially had some amazing interactions. So grab your metal bracelets, put on your eyeliner and let's find out all the secrets the emo trade has to offer. First up, let's address the depressed elephant in the room. The interaction based around target dummies and Ilaoi tentacles. The rule set for death mechanics in TFT used to be quite simple. If a unit is on your board and you can move it before combat starts, then it can trigger any death mechanics. There are some exceptions of course, but we will go over them later. You could witness this firsthand at the start of the PBE cycle. For example, Ilaoi used to be the best tech unit for every emo comp because you would receive two additional tentacles that you could sacrifice in the front row. Every Every emo unit would receive mana the first time these tentacles died. Ilaoi is able to bring the tentacles back to life, but doing that would change them into summoned units and therefore the interaction didn't work anymore. But honestly, none of that matters because all of this is gone. A few days into set 10, Riot decided to change the emo trade from allies to allied champions to prevent players from abusing this mechanic. The same also applies for target dummies that you can receive from portals or augments. Target dummies used to have strong synergy in the past with mutants or admins in previous sets and I guess Riot just wants to prevent this type of meta from repeating itself. While this was certainly a setback, I wanted to dig a bit deeper and check out other potential interactions. For example, what about the Orn artifact Trickster's Glass? For this test, we put the clone from the item in the front line and corner a Zac with an emo emblem. This way, he won't gain any mana from outside sources and we can confirm if the interaction works. The enemy bard makes quick work of my front line and we can see that Zac stays at 79 mana, at least until Lux decides to ruin the setup. The outcome wasn't a big surprise. Clones and summons are usually not supposed to work, but hey, it was worth a shot. There are two more interactions that I do want to showcase. One has to do with the Hecarim from the country trade and the other one with blue buff. Hecarim starts the fight outside of the map and he joins once your team drops low enough. It would be pretty awesome if Hecarim could relive his Hecar glory days from set 8 and proc death mechanics again. For this fight, we have to keep an eye out on one of the two enemies and check if they receive any mana. Hecarim is taken out and there is no animation or mana gained to be found. Well, I guess I did warn you, this would be a sad video. For our last experiment, let's take a look at blue buff. As you might know, aside from granting mana, the emo trade will also reduce the maximum mana of your emo units between 20 to 30%. There are also some units like Thrash that have reduced mana as their headliner bonus. How does all of this interact? In this example, we have an Ezreal with an emo emblem. His normal base mana is 40, but thanks to 4 emo, his mana is reduced by 1 quarter, so he is left with 30 mana. If blue buff reduces mana by 10, would he end up with 20 mana? The answer to this is no. He ends up with 22 mana, and the reason behind this is quite simple. Flat reduction is always calculated first. The rules here are the same as for armor penetration. Blue buff reduces his mana from 40 to 30, and then the emo trade reduces the new value by 25%. So where does this leave us? Well, as far as I'm aware, there are currently no interactions left for the emo trade outside of fielding more units. Augments like endless hordes in theory should be good, but most of the time you are better off with strong items on Vex and Poppy to carry your fights. Receiving a bit more mana here is simply not worth the trade-off for less items. The good news is that Vex reroll remains a pretty strong comp and doesn't require any of these shenanigans to work. So don't feel discouraged by the lack of interactions. If you want me to feel less sad, why not subscribe and support this channel? I hope you learned something and see you next time.